Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, Ellis. Hello. Hello. Do you know why we're at Dick's Sporting Goods tonight? Because tomorrow I'm practicing baseball. Because tomorrow is the first day of baseball practice. And do we know who your coach is for this season? You. Who? You. Who? Kyle. Coach Kyle. <laughs> Level two, pitch. Coach's pitch, Blue Jays. Oh, 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 oh. Daddy's a coach. So from now on, you guys need to refer to me as coach, okay? Uh, okay. So if you I want- I call you daddy? Nope, only coach. Okay. You should practice. Okay, coach. There we go, Winnie. Ellis? Coach. There we go. No, oh, you, can, you can call me daddy. But if you ever want to call me coach, it makes me feel really cool. Coach Kyle, Coach Appleford, Cause Coach I, App. Because on the train I call you Coach, so the kids feel like... But on the field, you do have to call me Coach. Hi, Coach Appy. So when we're on the field, you got to say Coach Kyle or whatever. But at home, don't call me Coach. So we're going to Dick's. We love going to the store. And we need to get baseball pants, a baseball cleats, a baseball socks, and a baseball belt. Maybe a new glove. Do you want a new glove? Yes. Um, what else do we need? We need gloves also for like hitting. Oh, guys. batting gloves, very well. Yeah, because then your hands are like... You don't really need a new bat. No, we don't need a bat. I think you've got one, so. Let's go explore Dick's Sporting Guts. The, the bat is the only thing that I don't really need a batting glove. Yeah, I don't really think so either. You don't really need a new glove either, but. It's always fun to buy one if you want one. The reason why you don't always want to buy one is because you got to work in a glove. And if you always buy a new one, it's never going to be worked in. Oh, yeah. So let's keep that there. We'll, 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 we'll buy one and then we'll have, you'll have two. See which one you prefer. Okay, I'll see which one fits me better. Okay. All right. Um, I love you. I love you. When are you ready to go? Are you going to help us? Yeah. All right. Let's go. We already have a baseball bag, so we don't need a baseball bag. Um, we just need, cleats is the number one thing, really? pants and a belt. We need those things tomorrow. Daddy got a Blue Jays hat. Daddy got a Blue Jays shirt. <laughs> We're going to be ready. So let's go into Dick's.
<laughs> what do you think of baseball practice tomorrow? Are you nervous? Oh, not at all? Why? Because you know I'm going to be your coach? Run a lap, Ellis! <laughs> no. So, got home. I have to get my baseball stuff ready. Today is our first day of practice, as you saw yesterday. And I'm going to have to run out of work to get the kids, bring them home, change, get a snack, and then go straight to the field. Because we have to get there early since I'm a coach um and set everything up so i came home to my laundry being done that's why i'm filming this laundry pile while i talk and there's flour so laundry is all done i've recommended this service before it's called pop if you guys ever heard of it it's stinking amazing someone comes picks up your laundry they fold it they wash it they clean it and they put it back on your doorstep the next day so i am so thankful to the people who did this i'm thankful for this company it's amazing um and um, I'm thankful for today because there is some stuff going on in the background um, that I won't talk about yet um, because it's all what ifs. There's a bunch of what ifs, but there's a big what if floating around in the background um, and we'll talk about it more, I'm sure. But. There are some what ifs going on today, specifically about this big what if. So I'm just praying um, that everything will happen the way that it's supposed to happen. And so far in our life, um, you know, and what I mean by that is ever since Jenny passed, I've really just trusted God and in, uh, in the plan that we've got here going forward and um, whatever we're gonna do um, is out of our hands. So I'm just uh, hoping praying today that things in the background work themselves out but i'm thankful for baseball day i'm thankful for this new uh cardigan that i got <laughs> and i'm thankful for everybody um i have to go back to work i just came to get my baseball stuff i'm on my lunch and then gonna run out of work go get ellis go get winnie and then go to the baseball field see us later for baseball practice all right, if you don't know the Waba game, get on the Waba game. Um, they have a vegan steak there that I get in a veggie bowl. And then their miso soup, I think I've said it before, is so good. Um, so that's what I'm eating for lunch. Yummy, delicious. Um, and I had to share this. I'm walking out of Waba Girl. There's a Starbucks right there. And there's this guy. And I saw him yesterday. How funny. And then now I'm seeing him again. And he is decked out in Raiders gear. He's got his Raiders hat, his Raiders jacket, his Raiders chain, his Raiders everything. And I was like, okay, I can't walk by without doing this. So I um, walked by <laughs> creepishly like this. And then I was like, Ra Raiders. Um, and he loved it, man. He loved it. Um, so there you go. There you go. We're here at the first day of practice. Ellis, say hi. Hi. The Blue Jays are ready. <laughs> now we're just waiting for people to show up. speed okay all right guys when we wait for the ball we want to get in a ready stance <laughs>
up. Bend your knees a little bit more. Bend your knees a tad bit. All right. There you go, boy. There you go. You ready? Woo! Oh, they caught it! Go, go, second! Good catch, Nigel. Good. Two more, two more. Arms up. Go, 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 go. What are we doing over here? Are we gonna make something? What should we make? Oh, what colors would you like? Pink and white? Okay, let's work on that. What do you think we start with first? We need to connect two together maybe? Let me help you? Okay. All right, you got a picture here. Set. Very good. Oh. Nice. Very nice. Last one. Atta boy, good job. All right. River, river, river. No, no, no. Come back. Come back here. You're going to get hit. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Good job! Yeah. 
Now, guys, your legs, when you look down, they should be as wide as your shoulders. You don't want to be too wide. I don't want to be too close. Look at it. They're as wide as your shoulders. Get in a comfortable position. Swing. Okay, ready? Swing. Good. Oh, good. Good job, Zach. Good job, Ellis. Grab another one. We got homework time in the neighborhood. Homework time tonight. Who made that crown? Uh, me and Auntie. Wow, that's really special. Did she bring crafts for you to do? Wow, what an auntie, huh? Look at you, yes. They want you to color them. So they want you to go get crayons, which we have crayons right here. And you're gonna color the apple. But you don't have to do that page if you don't want to. You have to color all the little A's and it'll make an apple shape. Uh, so I have to color the inside of it? Mm-hmm. Mm. So let me get red. You want red? <laughs> and then, Alice, what are you working on? Homework. What kind? That's pink. Again. This is math. Math? Yep. Okay, that's pink. Oh, uh, we don't really have a red then. Want to make a pink apple? I love pink apples. Mommy's favorite were pink ladies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's my yeah, they're pink ones. No kidding. Yeah. Or you could do uh, uh, you could do green. Green apples are nice. Yeah. But that crayon's kind of broken. But I would do pink. Ellis, what are you doing? Or what what problem are you stuck on? Tell me. Do you remember how many weeks are in a year? Perfect. So what's older? 60 weeks. Good job. Yeah. But the green's a little broken, okay? So sorry. It's fine. I use those. Good job, buddy. And the dogs are attacking one another, kind of, playing. Huh, Huckle? Good boy? Huckle, good boy? Flower, good girl? Flower, good girl? Flower, good girl? Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Hi, Huckle. Hi, Huckle. We had our cleaner come today. A lot of people on YouTube have suggested... A lot of people on YouTube have suggested for us to get a cleaner. For me to get a cleaner. Um, so I did. And it has been amazing. Um, really helps us out. I also had my laundry delivered, as you guys saw. So the house is in good shape. Really proud of the house right now. Um, and now we're just finishing up homework. We're gonna do a little bedtime routine. We gotta read. It's been a couple nights since we've read because we get to bed too late, but tonight we're on we schedule. Didn't do anything today. I know. We had practice. Practice was great. Huh. Overall, I am so proud of practice today. My goodness. And um, then we're gonna read some books and go to bed. What a good, successful first day as Ellis as a year two baseball player and daddy as a coach. Proud moments out there coaching my son, huh? And seeing my daughter on the sidelines watch. So cute. All right, good evening to Flower and good evening to Huckle. Um, they feel like a million bucks because I just fed them dinner. Look at that. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, Thank you. 
So the day is done. Um, just some thoughts, some observations about yesterday and today. So I personally know that in the last week to two weeks, I have felt very overwhelmed um, <clears throat> with life and with baseball coming up and with, um, excuse me, buddy, with just, uh, just tons of things like chores and laundry and the house and bills and d people and um, it, it just kind of all uh, rolled up into a big ball this morning. And I apologize to the kids because I was like frustrated this morning, um, just not my happy self this morning and the kids could tell. And so we all left to go to school with not the best feeling, you know, and it's my fault. And I told them, you know, I picked up Ellis today from school and we had to rush to go get ready for baseball. And I told him, I'm sorry, buddy, there's just a lot going on that daddy can't keep track of. And because of that, it's coming out on you guys. You know, I'm feeling overwhelmed and, you know, like I can't <clears throat> keep up with everything that's going on. And I've got digital calendars. I've got written down calendars and checklists. And I still can't remember. Like today, we were on our way to go get Winnie from school. And I got a call from this RV detailer guy. Apparently, when we got the trailer, one of the incentives they gave us was a free waxing and cleaning or something. And we had scheduled it for this day. I didn't write that down. I didn't remember. And I get a call and he's like, hey, where are you? I'm outside. And it's like, ah, so we had to go run and let that guy in. Then he did that, which I'm so thankful. And then we had to go get Winnie and go to practice. And I had to set up because I'm a coach. And um, it's just a lot. But I told the kids that no matter what, I love them, I'm proud of them, and um, I hope they know that, and they said, we do, Dad, we love you, and everything's great, and it's okay. You know, sometimes you just feel, or I do, <clears throat> I don't want to speak for everybody, but sometimes you just feel like a failure of a parent, and I know Jenny would say the opposite, but it just kind of felt that way this morning, but we're all good now. On the positive note, baseball was amazing. I'm so proud of Ellis. Um, it's so fun to be the coach of him and the other boys on the team. Um, I love coaching. I love teaching. I love, you know, being around kids. It's what I do for a living. And um, I truly love the experience. Sorry, my hand's going to be in the shot. But it's because I, I can't hold it with this, <laughs> this hand anymore. Um what an amazing uh, experience to be able to coach him, to be able to coach those young young boys. Um, just some baseball skills. And the reason why I'm bringing up coaching is because one, it was so fun. And two, Jenny had told me when she was sick, if I go, be Ellis's coach. And she said, so that way you can take care of him. If he's having a rough day, you can be the coach. All those things, all of the above. And she said, I think it'll be nice for you, for me. And today I just, when we got home, I just cried because I felt that, of course, of course, my wife was right again. Um, and I was so thankful to um, one of the moms who stepped up to be the team mom and supports me. It's one of Ellis's friend's moms. How supportive she was. Her husband came on the field and helped me as an assistant coach. He's gonna do that this season. Um, another dad just said, hey, I'll help you too. Um, and then I just truly enjoyed it. And then Ashley, Jenny's sister came and took care of Winnie during practice, which you'll see video and photos, or you already did. Um, but I'm so thankful to Ashley for watching my daughter and taking care of us. And I'm thankful to everyone that came out today and supported. I just felt overwhelmed with gratitude again. I have such a village, I have such a team. I couldn't do this alone. 
and so many people step up to help us and I'm so thankful. So I just had to say that. And I have friends who are texting me and just people that are reaching out and I'm just surrounded by a lot of nice people. And sometimes all the nice hits you, hits you, hits you, and you just feel overwhelmed with, wow, there's a lot of kind people on this planet. And where would I be without all these people? I don't know, but I'm so thankful. Today was so fun. Um, I think Jenny would have been proud to see me out there coaching. I think she also would have been like, cool dude, whatever. <laughs> but uh, it was fun. And um, I can't wait to do it again next week. Um, and for the rest of the season. And then um, I'm so proud of my daughter for hanging through the cold. It was cold out there and she did such a good job. But um, yeah, I don't know. Practice was a success. I'm proud of him. Um, you know, meanwhile, tomorrow's a busy day. Um, we got another, I call these rush days. Today's a rush day where we don't get a lot of time to process anything. It's go, go, go every single second. <clears throat> In some instances, that's good for my brain and I'm sure the kids' brains. And sometimes it's like, man, can we just slow down? And the time change has been awful for all of us, literally awful. Um, None of us can wake up on time in the morning. We're all behind every morning, so there's that. But um, I'm so proud of my son. You can see the skills that he picked up last year when he was learning baseball for the first time. And you see those skills come out today where it's like, I don't have to teach him how to like hit. He gets it. He gets the stance. He gets the holding up the bat. He gets where he's supposed to go. It's just so stinking awesome and cute and fun. Um, he's understanding the throwing motions and all these boys, same, same thing. Like they're all kind of in the same boat of like, they get it. And I think we have some first year players, but such a good, fun group of kids. And I'm so proud of them. So fun day. I'm thankful to be a coach. I'm thankful to help and volunteer. Um, I love it. And I love my son. I love my daughter. And I'm so thankful for my village and all the people that support us. So um, see you guys soon and um, love you all.